Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to the Universal Energy Forecast, the Oracle Card Forecast and Lesson for this week, February the 19th. And I've decided to use Wisdom of Avalon, the Wisdom of Avalon, um, to tell us the, about the energies that we're all going to experience this week and give us some advice about how to cope with it. Um, and also we're gonna use a postcard from Spirit and thank you so much for writing in, you guys. It's just, I can't tell you how thrilled I am. Oracle cards are my life. You know, anything becomes possible when you open up your connection to the universe and Oracle cards are the key to open up that connection. And so the fact that you guys love this so much and, uh, um, and you love Postcards from Spirit too as like the, the end exclamation mark makes me really happy. That's why I get up in the morning because I get up in the morning because of this. Okay, so the Wisdom of Avalon. Um, I shuffled and I got four cards and our anchor card is interesting this week um, because it's about the way we present ourselves to the world and it's about the deer, which is about gentleness and diplomacy. So when we get deer, uh, the deer as our anchor card, we're really being asked to be ourselves without being overly aggressive about it. So you know when when somebody is being very authentic and only they're not pushing it on anybody. So um, that's really key for you to wear the world loosely but be strong and agile in the conviction that you have about who you really are on an authentic level. Um, and the next card tells us a little bit more about that and it's about our feelings. So the water fairy reminds us that uh, to be flexible, to go with the flow, but also to trust that our emotions are important because they tell us where we're at and remind us where we may be in denial if we feel tremendous resistance to something or anger or resentment or whatever, or we feel very inspired and hopeful, etc. So we, we can kind of look at the scale of our emotions to determine where we are in this conversation this week. So February the 19th week um, is all about managing our emotions and staying in a diplomatic mindset so that we're not uh, forcing our views on other people. Um, and we also, it's a Saint Fra sorry, I can't speak here. St. Francis of Assisi has a beautiful prayer and one of the lines in it is, it is better to understand than to be understood. So there's this kind of an idea that everybody feels entitled to be understood right now and, and everybody kind of self, um, you know, selects and puts themselves in little groups and us against them, etc. And this is a week where we have to remember that we can blend with everybody but we don't have to be so strong in our convictions that we won't hear someone else, um, their side of the street. So this is a real openness. That's what diplomacy is, right? We're here to, to negotiate a way for us to be with people who are not necessarily exactly the same as you or the same, coming from the same place. It's about listening and being aware and allowing the flow of things and to check our emotions. Um, I love this. The last two cards are great. One of the cards is trust. The third card is trust. And trust reminds us, what? Well, to trust. Um, but trust is something that doesn't come easily to us when we, I mean, we live in a bully culture. So when we bring our ideas and our uh, things that we think are important to people, especially if we're in the public, I notice that for me, um, you know, especially, you, you, and or just friends and family, because that's public, right? Away from just inside your head. You want to share something. You really want people to hear you and understand you and believe in you and, and, um, and, and to, so you get, your, you get what you want. <laughs> the idea of manifesting reality is all about, yeah, I desire this and I wanna go create that. But here it tells us that what is yours will not go past you, right? So to trust that no matter what, as long as you are being authentic and clean with your motives and just being really present and gentle about that presence, then the eagle says you, there's a connection in, in, in the, from this integrity to the angelic realm. And, and spirit and higher spiritual values. So you start to see in, in the world of conditions, like your actual evidence, right? When I say the world of conditions, I mean in front of you, like the stuff that happens in front of you, you start to see evidence that this pays off. So instead of being really aggressive about, you know, getting at the dinner table with your parents or with, or with your husband or boyfriend or even friends, just listen and share 
without any agenda attached to that. And this is a week where, as a result, some extraordinary, miraculous things can happen when you're in that space of diplomacy, listening, being aware of, of how you flow in conversations with other people and your communication, and then, of course, trusting that what is yours won't go past you. And then as a result of that and surrendering to that, bam, miracles can and do happen. Exciting. Okay. Postcard from Spirit. We see a unicorn here. Beautiful. Um, and remember, this is like the, like the stamp says, two cents from heaven. Very different than other Oracle cards. They were not meant to be, you're not meant to do readings with these, like three card readings and things like that. Just one, just one. One is an exclamation mark for your day. Um, and it is like getting a nod and a hug from your loved ones on the other side, from your guardian angels, just from the invisible realms and who lives in it, okay? The consciousness that loves us. Here we go, this is for all of us. Dear you, there is only one you, and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you. This is better, my lighting is better. I should wear glasses when I do this. Um, to be, uh, to, what, that challenge you to be authentic, and that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Oh, this is cool, because it really follows suit with this. Um, now is not the time to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have, choose what your heart wants and know what your purpose is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic nor take it away. Like you can't make this up that that card fixed with these cards, it's so great. Um, no one else can claim your magic when you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness. Extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Love you always and forever. Well, that was two cents from heaven and I like those two cents from heaven because that like literally is an exclamation mark about this. Be yourself. There, no, everybody else is taken. <laughs> and, and you just have to be. You don't have to sell it to anybody. You just have to find out who that is and then know that that is a blessing in itself. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Take care. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And don't forget, you can go to my website and choose three cards for yourself and then see at the end of the week how all of these, like four and your three, those seven cards, come together and tell your story in motion. So you make it more personal when you choose your own three cards and just do it for the week. Say, what do I need to know about my life this week? Um, and uh, then see how it all plays together. We get tons and tons of emails from you guys telling us your stories, which is fantastic. I love to read them. Um, so I will see you next week. I've seen the future. It's beautiful.